I am a singer, songwriter, busker, and I'm also a stunt person for film and television and an author. trains was because I'm a stunt person I had an accident and um, I ended up really badly injured with a concussion and whiplash so um, during physical therapy and rehabilitation I, I needed a way to support myself and I tried the trains one day. If you've ever experienced a time when you're completely void of thinking about what anyone's thinking about, what you have to do tomorrow, what you have to do today. You're, you're just present with the music, and that's what, that's what got me that first day, and that's what brings me back every time, that and the people. It's the best audience in the world. They're very honest, you know? If you move them, you know, you know you've moved them. You know they're not playing, doing you a favor. No one, no one here does you a favor. No one in New York does you a favor, no one on these platforms does you a favor. So if you move them, you've really moved them. To dance, to sing, to give you a dollar, to clap. This is the last place in the city that you can be a free artist. Um, it's really important that people have a voice. And then the flip side is it's very important, I think, for generations growing up to know that there's something other than what, what Clear Channel and Walt Disney, CBS and ABC and NBC have chosen for you being okay. I mean, there's there's, there's artistic innovation that goes on down here that you, you will never see, and everywhere that you that you follow people that you will never see on national television, or especially in the United States. Musicians are getting arrested and ticketed and fined and thrown in jail left and right, and it's um, sometimes it's just. Uh, a supervisor who's had a bad day. Sometimes it's a cop who needs to, who wants to further themselves in the ranks. My second to last ticket um, was given to me by a cop. He comes up to me, he goes, um, I'm gonna have to give you a ticket. And don't worry, he said, uh, you, it's all bullshit. You, I wish I'd had my tape recorder. It's all bullshit. Um, you just have to go to court and they'll probably dismiss it. Um, but my supervisor up there, she's really angry because there was someone we're supposed to catch who was running around with a gun and we didn't catch him. So I got to, I have to look like I've done something or she's going to, you know, give me, give me help. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys hot enough down here? It got warm all of a sudden again. Every day we have more and more restrictions put us on us, more and more rules, more and more things we can't do, when you can't do them, how you can't do them. And um, down here we all function with no oversight, no one telling us where to be, when to be there, and yet it all works. And no one dies, and no one gets hurt, and we all make a living, and we make people happy, and we're happy. And you can be anything you want down here. Every day it can change. You can be an opera singer one day, you can be a tap dancer the next day. We're not all homeless. We probably don't have health insurance, but we're not all homeless. Um, we're not unhappy down here. We're probably some of the happiest people, I guess, on the planet. In New York, we're some of the happiest people in New York. I, I can say that for sure. People pity us sometimes. They, they think we're homeless. They think something's horrible's happened to us. And oftentimes we come down here because something's occurred in our life, which pushes you down here. But most people who stay, uh, stay because of the art. And if you're doing something because of the art, you're pretty happy and you're pretty lucky. So. I'd like people to know that.